Hey everyone, it's me, B. Mariah. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'll be walking you through the steps I took to get this cheetah makeup. I love the way this came out, and it was super easy, so keep watching. First, as always, I'm priming my eyes. I'm now applying the shadow brulee all over my lid. I'm using the shadow brown down to create the cut crease for my cat eye. Using a blending brush and the shade Brown Script, I'm now blending out my cut crease. To line my eyes, I'm using a liquid liner and I'm really extending the wing creating a cat-like eye. Over top of that, I'm applying some black shadow and I'm also applying it in the inner corners of my lid. It is also important to bring the liner on the inner tear duct for that cat eye. I'm now applying some gold shadow on the inner portion of my lid. Here I'm just applying a little bit of lash glue so that my glitter will stick to my lid. And of course, I'm lining my waterline with my favorite black liner and smoking it out with some black shadow. As you can see, I have fallout all over my face, so I'm using my DNA Cosmetics makeup remover to clean it all up, and then on to my foundation. I'm applying my concealer as I typically would, as well as around my mouth. I went back and actually lightened up the concealer a bit to make it really stand out. And then of course, using my Benai Translucent Powder to set it all in place. For contour, I'm doing the usual contour lines, but I'm also drawing in the mouth as well. And then of course, blending everything. To set the contour, I'm using my Honey Powder from DNA Cosmetics. Now for my nose, I started using my liquid liner, but it was taking way too long. <laughs> so I used a gel liner to fill it all in and then set it with a black shadow. For brows, I'm going black and drastic. <laughs> I'm using my black gel liner and an angled brush to create fur-like brows. I'm using this precise brush to connect my nose to my mouth and then outlining my entire lips, extending the smile out ever so slightly. And then adding some dots and whiskers, of course. I went ahead and applied my lashes and mascara off camera. And now for the spots, you just want to draw random O's and C's everywhere. To make it a little more realistic, you want them to be a bit messy. I then filled in a few with a brown shadow and then the rest with some gold glitter. I decided to go with a red lip for this look and I absolutely love the way it pulled together. Highlighter is a must for me, especially for this look. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I know that's asking for a lot, but I really do appreciate it. And let me know what you guys would like to see for my next video. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Mwah.